WikiLeaks is now letting loose a lot of banking information and we're finding out that the rich don't pay their income tax. That's something I've been saying for a long, long time. One of them that i seen, I'll put a link to one of the news stories that uh, a Swiss banker has handed over a ton of information about which companies are not paying their income tax. Now, one of them in Canada is Bobby G. I'll put a link to this uh, Hulu.com where you can actually watch his shows. This is a guy that has no problem letting you know how corrupt he is. He does not pay his income tax. He lets you know he doesn't pay his income tax. And, and it has it on uh, Cayman Islands or something. Um, he also doesn't mind bragging about buying up all Canadian waterfront property. One of them is in uh, um, Ontario. He's buying up miles and miles and miles of beachfront property with money that he's supposed to be paying into income tax. Um, he uh, bought a place, I, I, I think it's the Cayman Islands, I'm not sure which area, but um, when he went there, he couldn't get his kids in school. The waiting list was too long. So he, with all the money, instead of buying it, paying for his income tax, he bought the school so his kids don't have to wait in line. The rich are putting themselves ahead of everything, everything, at the cost of you and me. So while people want to bitch and complain that I'm on a disability welfare system, which I am complaining about because there was an awful lot of crime that landed me here, yeah, you're disabled for a reason. What disabled you? Oh, a hell of a lot of crime. Try punching you and, and see if you don't get bruised. The level of abuse that lands somebody on a welfare system is outrageous that these are crime the, the criminals are allowed to walk the streets my ex who 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 is a criminal according to our tax rule or our, our which he doesn't pay his income tax either and and revenue canada doesn't give a shit whether an oil field worker that owes child support doesn't have to pay his income tax it's kind of important to him because as long as he reports his income then he has to pay child support on it how does somebody that works in an oil field make next to no money and have his oil field company lie about it? One of the lies that is easily proven is he said that he's poor and broke and tried to claim the poverty ticket, but that's why he doesn't support his children. Um, but he actually owned a $300,000 home right after he claimed bankruptcy. Between him and his wife, they have three bankruptcies. They just spend on credit, and then when they're done and they don't want to pay their bills, they claim bankruptcy and buy houses and toys and, you know, quads. This guy has it all. Revenue Canada doesn't give a shit, even though my ex actually put in an affidavit, which is a sworn testimony, that his income was 80000 yet he filed his income tax at thirty two. Revenue Canada says, we don't give a shit. <laughs> and there's year after year after year. So I have a big problem with people not paying their income tax. And then I have a really, really big problem that Canadians that are paying their income tax that don't like supporting people on a welfare system, kind of on your side. I would hate to be paying money for that too. But these people that are, are bitching and complaining about where their money goes to, they seem to be all accepting of criminals getting away with crime and not paying their income tax and you just want to blame the victim the one that's you know had to deal with that level of abuse and you didn't give a shit you don't pay police to actually enforce laws you don't pay judges to enforce laws you don't pay politicians to enforce laws so what gives the only reason a law is in place is to keep you in your place but the law doesn't apply to the wealthy they do not pay their income tax. I have first-hand experience from my ex. He's not paying his income tax and making a shitload of money. Um, and this Bobby G guy brags 
brags about it on his own reality show that he doesn't pay his income tax. So it's interesting to see um, Julian Assange um, let us know how many other corporations are doing the same thing. And then what are you going to do? I mean, it's a conspiracy theory if I tell you all companies aren't paying their income tax, but all companies aren't paying their income tax. The only people that are paying income tax are the lower class people. Upper class don't pay it. Lower class ain't making any money to pay it. So the only people that are funding the countries are the lower middle class people in every country. Don't matter what political party you're dealing with. This is in Canada. This is in the States. This is a global thing. And our problems cost a hell of a lot more money than what we are able to take in through our taxes. So how is the system not going to collapse? It makes no sense. You be the judge. Check out the links. Look at that documentary. You'd be real surprised.